Families is the topic. We both have families. So, technically, we have that in common, but we have really different families. I come from a big family. On my mom's side, she was one of four kids, so her parents and three siblings formed a pretty large extended family, all living in the town of Manuka, Illinois. Growing up, there were about 24 of us, and now that number is up into the 30s. Every household was pretty similar, very hardworking, salt of the earth. Everyone in the entire family is a public servant, teacher, librarian, nurse, paramedic, farmer, with the exception of my brother, who brews beer and is thus considered the king of the family. I'm the only black sheep. I'm an only child. And my whole family is dad, except for my mom, who's 96 and a half, and my father's brother, my Uncle Taylor, who is 88, I think. They're both wonderful. And I have a few cousins, some of whom are acceptably within the parameters of sanity. But the hilarious part of Nick's and my family dynamic is that Nick's family is, by and large, normal, whereas my family, we're all completely insane. So that's a jumping off point. And Nick's family are also alive, so that's a plus. My family's very Midwestern. They're very hardworking. They have an amazing work ethic and sense of neighborliness. Everyone takes care of one another, both within the family and within the community. Whatever few hardships they have are born of, perhaps, repressing emotion and the occasional overindulgence in food and drink. Midwestern. They work hard, but they don't talk a lot about their feelings. There's a great familial love, which gives a great feeling of security. Yeah, Nick's family is really nice. Plus, they're all funny, which you won't be surprised to hear. Plus, they're readers. His sisters, Lori and Carrie, are a librarian and a teacher, respectively. And Nick's mom, Kathy, is a voracious reader. So that's something I can really relate to because I, I also like to move my eyeballs across a typed page. That is not a good phrase. Correction. I like to read. I'll take it. I, too, <laughs> like to read. I I like to move my eyeballs across the page. Don't propagate that as a saying. Do you think that, I mean, like, let's not turn that into, like, an emoji or something. Mm, let's Although. How, let's try it out in social media. Yeah, because it does sound like something you would say. Uh, Okay, two things. I'm 59, so you wouldn't think it was that unusual that a lot of my family are gone, but it's been the case for, lo, these many years. Also, my father's side of the family were all clearly certifiable, so that was never in question. But I've recently come to find out that my mother's side of the family, with a few notable exceptions, which include my mother's mother, otherwise known as Granny, were also completely insane. Funny story. I should mention, though, that my dad's family experience was closer to some of the aspects of your family experience. His parents were divorced. Oh, my God, what? This book is going to go through the roof. Your grandparents were divorced? Oh, I, okay. I can't compete with that. Well, my I mean, granny was a pretty sad not character. Not divorce. She was an alcoholic and very lonely. Okay, everyone <laughs> in my entire family is either an alcoholic and or has some kind of substance abuse problem, except for my mom and, like, two other people. It runs the gamut in my family. Suicide, sociopathy, incest. It's a scream. It's the stuff of comedy, of the comedy book we're writing together. <laughs> okay, I wasn't competing. You're, you're just trying to get in on the action because your family is like a Norman Rockwell painting. By comparison, the happy hobbits of the Roberts family. <laughs> oh okay, wait. The basic bottom line is that our families are very different. 